In the year 2015, the Silent No More Awareness Campaign will take an in-depth look at how the shockwaves of abortion have impacted our society. Each month, we will focus on a special target group that has been directly impacted by abortion laws. We'll have helpful information, resources, and most importantly, abortion recovery program information. A key insight behind the Shockwaves initiative is that abortion destroys everyone and everything that it touches. There's no end, there's no limit to the destruction that it brings. And that destruction continues moving throughout many circles of people and throughout the generations. The Shockwaves initiative contradicts the idea that abortion is some kind of isolated wrong. We are all involved. We are all wounded, we are all impacted, and therefore we all need healing. We know that Planned Parenthood and abortion providers target our poor minority communities uh, for their abortion services. In New York City alone, six out of 10 black pregnancies end in abortion. And this is especially tragic because these communities are especially vulnerable to post-abortion uh, reactions to the shock waves of abortion. There is no such thing as a private abortion. Everyone suffers as a result. And the various groups of people who suffer as a result also need to be healed. The Shockwaves Initiative is saying very simply, the wound of abortion is multifaceted, and therefore the healing must be multifaceted. Maybe you were responsible for telling your daughter she had to have an abortion. Maybe you drove her to the abortion clinic. So you've lost a grandchild to abortion. Or maybe you were like me. My daughter went and had an abortion and I didn't even know about it. Now she knew I was pro-life. She knew I would be okay with helping her in an unexpected pregnancy because I would consider it an unexpected blessing. But yet I too have lost a grandchild, actually grandchildren uh, to abortion. So we want to reach out to you, any grandmother or grandfather that you've lost a child to abortion. The Healing the Shockwaves initiative is for you too. But the truth is many of us have been impacted by an abortion. I myself had an abortion when I was 16 years old and I know that it had a huge impact on my life and also I know now the impact it had on the father of the baby. But not only did it have an impact on myself and on losing our child and the father, I also saw the impact that it had on my parents and the fact that they had to grieve the loss of their grandchild. And sadly, years later, my daughter, when she was eight years old, she learned that she had lost a half-sibling to abortion. And she had to grieve that loss as well. Father's Day provides an excellent opportunity to focus on a group that is often neglected when we look at post-abortion reactions, and that is the fathers of aborted children. Father's Day is a day when many men, after their healing, will reflect on the fact that they felt a sense of depression around that holiday. There was a sense that there was a child missing from their Father's Day celebration, a Father's Day card that was never written. And so this grief affects them as men and affects them as fathers. And so that's why a message of awareness and healing about the shockwaves of abortion and how they impact men is so important for men, for our families, and for our communities and nation. Perhaps you've learned that you lost your twin uh, to abortion. Yes, many cases we have been reported to us who uh, your mother had an abortion and then several months later found out she was still pregnant and by that the pregnancy was further along and she decided to give birth to you. But you are grieving because you've lost a brother or sister who was in the womb with you. You need healing too and we want to help you find that healing and to give your testimony and we already have some people that are currently out speaking. Perhaps also maybe you weren't a twin survivor, but maybe you actually survived the abortion procedure. Yes, there are people like Melissa Odin, Gianna Jensen, and many others who actually survived uh, the abortion procedure. They were born even after. Uh, one of them was even a saline abortion. They're survivors. Perhaps you were born after 1973 when Roe v. Wade was the Supreme Court decision making abortion illegal in this country. 
The fact that your parents chose to give birth to you means you survived the abortion holocaust in this country. The Shockwaves Initiative also talks about the healing of the family as a unit. In the Shockwaves Initiative, we are convinced and we proclaim that there is nothing that is more destructive of the family than abortion. Because abortion divides. Abortion introduces division in the most intimate human relationship, starting with that of a mother and her own child. And then that division continues in the relationships of the uh, one parent to the other and the parents to other children. And on and on the division goes between the, the woman who had the abortion and her parents and the parents of the father. And on and on it goes. The whole family needs to be healed from abortion. And during the Shockwaves Initiative, we'll focus on the family as a unit and on how, in order to be fully alive, the healing from abortion needs to be sought and found. As those of us in the pro-life movement, we too need healing for the abortions we couldn't stop. Uh, some of us might get very frustrated uh, in our full-time pro-life work. And so the shockwaves of abortion is going to reach out to you too with healing programs so we can grieve those children that we couldn't save. Brothers and sisters, one of the dynamics that happens when an individual is healing from abortion is that he or she begins to realize that many of the symptoms of the wounds that the abortion caused were in fact connected to the abortion. A person may know, for instance, that they have certain physical problems or emotional distress or difficulty in relationships or lack of self-esteem or lack of faith in God, and they may not have any idea that that's connected to an abortion experience. But on the journey of healing, that awareness grows. Those dots begin to be connected. And in the insight that these problems are related to the abortion comes new hope and strength to deal with those problems. If that's true for an individual, how much more true will it be for a family or indeed for entire communities of families and for our whole society? As we begin to realize that so many of our societal problems, so much of the violence, alienation, and division within our culture are in fact either caused by or intensified by abortion, so with that insight will come a greater hope and strength to heal these wider societal problems. It's no exaggeration to say that the Shockwaves Initiative can be a major factor in building a better culture, a better world, a culture of life, and a civilization of love. The Healing the Shockwaves of Abortion initiative is something we hope you can get involved in, that you can spread the word. Please visit our website at silentamore.com or abortionshockwaves.com where you will see month by month resources. We are going to have prayers, sermon hints, blogs, press releases, research articles, and so much more. We're hoping that you will get involved in healing the shockwaves of abortion.